What's going on, everybody? We're going to give you some more weekend league games right now. And the biggest thing that's been going on right now is people have been asking me, as far as the Michael Vicks, right, which ones compared to the 93 overall that actually gets, you know, he goes up to a 94 when you chem him up a little bit. And I'm going to explain to you right now. I got the 90, and he goes to a 91, right? And when you look at the stats, like, if you go to it, you go to a compared on Mudhead, whatever like that, when you look at the stats of both cards, they're very, very much similar in regards to the throw and accuracy. Throw power, obviously, uh, the 93 Vic is a lot better. 94, whatever you want to call him, is a lot more accurate. Um, well, not, well, also a lot more accurate with the deep throw as well. But if you... I'm coming from Ben Roethlisberger. And I was balling out with Ben Roethlisberger. So now I, now I got a quarterback with 86 speed with more throw power. Like, I can't lose. But I'm going to show you in this game. Well, this game right here, I think this guy is going to come out and just do whatever he wants. I think this guy right here is going to rage quit. And I didn't want to leave you guys off with a short video because you guys say that you want decent sized videos. So this guy right here, he has Sean Taylor also. So I'm thinking like, bruh, you grind it out. You probably, you know, you know, straight up just a mutt head. So it ain't no way you're going to come out here and you're going to be finna rage quit because you're going to disrespect Sean Taylor's legacy by rage quitting. You know what I'm saying? Like if you grind out mutt master, get Sean Taylor, then come out and rage quit. Like, so why'd you do all that for? Like you put in a lot of time non-auctionable, non-tradable, so you had to do that yourself, or you had to give somebody your account information to do it, and that's just stupid, so I'm assuming that this man did it himself, so it's not like you, you oh, oh, pick that up, pick that up right there, oh, yeah, kick it back to him, yeah, play FIFA a little bit too, um, it's, it's not about anything else other than you just can't come out and, and quit with Sean Taylor on your squad, but we're gonna get back to the Mike Vic, because I don't think I'm gonna get a chance in this segment of the video to actually show you, um, how accurate my Mike Vic is, so, if you if that Mike Vick is even more accurate with these with the same like you know what I'm saying with similar stats, I de yo this finna be a brief. I gotta find a way because all I'm missing is that 91 overall Vick to put into the set to get the 93. That's the only card that I need. That's it. Once I get that card, you know what I'm saying? It's pretty much a wrap. It's nothing else that I need to do other than that. But I could deal with this Vick for a while because the dude. Yo, he's very, very accurate. He throws the ball exactly where it need, needs to be. And his deep throw accuracy, listen, I made a video and I was telling you guys how bad Cam Newton was. And all you guys say, oh, you don't know how to use him. All this stuff you guys are saying to me. Bruh, Cam Newton, that flashback Cam Newton is straight. Oh, pick that. Yeah, we, we're going back to six with this. We're going back to six. Oh, oh, Juke Oh, oh, boy, get your ankles, boy. Who was that? Was that Adrian Peterson? Who was that? That just lost his ankles. All right. Don't worry about any of that. This guy right here obviously has something he had to do. He said he had to go wash his roach's feet. I don't know, bro. That's what he told me. So he had to leave. But that's neither here nor there, right? So look, listen up. When you talk about the accuracy between the Vicks, I'm about to show you in this gameplay right here, my Vic is, yo, the dude throws the ball very, very accurate. Oh, wait, wait. This guy right here is going to, what is he going to do? He's going to dashboard me. If you guys know this guy, he dashboarded me. I didn't get a win or a loss or nothing. What is this? Okay, so he got 92, 91, 91. So, oh, these guys, what, what does this guy do? So he sees this and then he just, why did, why did he why did he dashboard me? And then after he dashboarded me, like, like I didn't get to win this weekend league, whatever it is, whatever the F is going on. But it's just ridiculous that that still goes on in weekend league and that's supposed to be a qualifier to make it to one of the EA tournaments. They got to they gotta really fix that, bro. Because dudes can just come out doing whatever they want. I believe they say they're tracking it. And they're going to see the people that have continued with stuff like that and then ban their accounts. But I don't know when they're going to start doing it. But these, what, 94? What the, hold up, wait a minute, what's going on? Why, why, why does everybody have that OBJ now? I don't, I don't know what's going on, but this dude OBJ is just really out here just running around doing whatever he wants with a 92 speed. All right, but let's get back to this whole Mike Vick thing, right? Cam Newton, the flashback Cam Newton that everybody is going to bat for, like, yeah, bro, he's raw. I'm going to tell you this right now. I showed you the gameplay when I raid sold him, and if you didn't see the if you didn't see the gameplay, um, you could you could just search Cam Newton Madden 18 on my channel or ask for the video in the uh, comment section, and I'll give it to you so you guys can see the video where I show you why. It's not like I'm just telling you based on the stats that he's garbage. I show you the gameplay in full. The dude sucks. This dude Mike Vick with his deep throw accuracy and his speed is so much better than that Cam Newton. And for all you guys that got the Cam Newton. Try out this 91 Vic and then tell me that what I wasn't saying, you know what I'm saying, wasn't true. Because I know how to throw the ball deep. If you go to all of my videos on YouTube, I've been playing Madden for a while, bruh. I've been playing Madden before YouTube was created. So I, and all I usually do is go deep. Very, very rarely do anything else. I'm looking for the deep ball, bruh. 
And I've always been looking for the deep ball. So back in the day, obviously, the catch, you know, the the, uh, the passer ratings didn't matter as much because dudes were bums, bombing at 90 yards. But as Madden has evolved and attributes and traits have become more inclusive to how the players react, especially in this year, you better believe that Cam Newton is a hot turd with cheese, bro. That dude sucks. And I, look, what do you, you know, you know what it is? I've played against Cam Newton several times, right? I think I've only lost against him once, and I was in a Mutt Squads game. Anybody that I've played head-to-head -head with Cam Newton has either thrown me two to three picks or rage quit. So all I'm saying is this. If all you can do is run, right? This is not the game. Like, if I'm talking about just running as the quarterback or running around, whatever like that, because he still fumbles. And that's the biggest thing. Cam Newton, back in the day, he didn't really fumble like that. When you were like, uh, what was that, 25, Madden 13, when like the read option and the triple option was a glitch. He didn't really fumble and stuff like that. Now he fumbles, and not only that, he's just an outright bum with no accuracy. So how are you guys justifying the fact that he's a good quarterback in this game? And that's why I'm happy that this Vic is out, because there's so many different versions of him, and you can see the difference when the throw power, not the throw power, the, uh, the throw accuracy is garbage. I've seen a lot of people running around using the 84, 87, like, yo, bro, this card sucks. Did you read the card? Did you see, like, what his attributes are? Of course he sucks. That, that's what I'm trying to tell. Look at Cam Newton's flashback uh, attributes, bro. You guys are making me rage right now because, like I said, a lot of the things that you guys say, if it doesn't make sense, I'm not going to respond to it because it's like these guys are not looking at things that I'm showing them. If you say things and it's like, all right, you know, let me see what this guy's talking about, that's a different story. You know what I'm saying? If you're really trying to inquire or you have a point that you're trying to prove, like, yo, nah, this right here, that why did all my why did my corner just stand there and not do anything and not react at all to the ball being thrown right there to the out route? Like what was that? He's running levels wide corner. Like, what are you doing on that side, bro? Like you really didn't know he was gonna run that play? That's literally all these bums do. They come out and run cover two, what is it, cover four, drop, show two, and then they run wide sale. Like, I, I don't really understand what else is going on. But look though, think about what I'm saying. You have to understand and make sure that it's clear, right? Cam Newton's throwing stats are horrible. Some of the Mike Vick cards that go into his set to make the 93, aka the 94, are also horrible. But if you look at Cam's new uh, Cam Newton's uh, his flashback card and you compare it to either the 90 or 91 Mike Vick card, it's oh pick that run of a six, run of a six. It's a no brainer. It's a no brainer that that card is disgusting. And the biggest part about why it's disgusting is his deep throw accuracy and. Obviously, with such a big arm, you would want him to get the ball down the field. Mike Vick throws the ball so smooth. It's just like, yo, man. I, like, I don't even know. Yo, bro. All I'm going to tell you right now is this. I'm one away from getting that 94. And when I get him, he's probably going to be my quarterback. I'm trying to think. Guys, leave it in the comments. Who, would, who right now would be a better quarterback to have other than Mike Vick? Leave it in the comments. Because I'm really trying to figure it out. And tell me who else EA could release. Randall Cunningham, maybe? But nobody's going to go crazy trying to pull a Randall Cunningham, I don't think. What other quarterback? Um, you know, they could probably do a Peyton Manning. They, Tom Brady is the guy already. You know what I'm saying? Like, would they release another Tom Brady legend? Um, I, I'm really thinking, like, as far as electrifying quarterbacks that could shut down, um, you know, the mutt auction. Oh, this dude is just way too sticky. What other quarterback? There, there is no other quarterback. And that's what I'm saying. And the way that they made the stats so closely related, I can wait it out. You know what I'm saying? I don't need to try to rush and sell everybody in my team, go out and start doing crazy things on the street to try to get the coins up to get this Mike Vick. I could actually wait it out and then get him because the throw power that I have right now, you know what I'm saying? I'm right there. So it's like, yo, what the F is going on? And I really do want the 93 Vic just because of the 92 speed. And you know what's crazy about that 92 speed? Sean Taylor is a 92 speed. My uh, Mutt Master Sean Taylor. And when I tell you that when he's blitzed off the edge, he's in your backfield instantly or he's running right into the running back that you have blocking, like as soon as the ball snapped. So if Mike Vick at a 92 speed gets loose on the field, I, listen, I'm telling you right, it's going to be a lot of consoles that are thrown out the window or just smashed with sledgehammers because he's faster than most wide receivers in the game already, and we just hit October. So I don't know, I just don't know where we can go further with, you know what I'm saying, as far as what, it don't make no sense. Unless they're going to make you be able to tear him, uh, you know, change his tear. 
because that's a new thing that they're doing to make it non-auctionable and non-tradable. They probably give you a tier where you can enhance Mike Vick, but you would have to be an outright fool to put that Mike Vick into a set and lose like what four or five million coins by just doing that. I don't think that that would be smart. Um, so I would just suggest that you hold, if you if you guys were lucky enough to either pull Mike Vick or you completed the set, I would just say to keep him. And I would probably he's gonna be going for like very very wild prices until the end of the year possibly unless they release another version of him and for some reason we become idiots. It's like, you know what? Let's go and get another version of Mike Vick. That's the only way. Other than that, I don't really see any other way to put out another quarterback. There, yo, I, I urge you guys, what is another quarterback you would rather have other than Mike Vick right now? The, 90, the 94 overall. What, what, what other quarterback are they going to release that's going to be anywhere near him? Unless they release a quarterback like Aaron Rodgers with a decent amount of speed and higher throw power and stuff like that. And even with that, he's still not Mike Vick. Especially with all the sag D that dudes are playing, dudes coming out and dropping everybody in the coverage, the team owner, the, 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 you know what I'm saying? The lobby managers, like everybody is dropping in the coverage. So with Mike Vick, you just, oh, the whole field is open. I, I don't know. I'm just trying to tell you guys right now. I'm very, very interested to see what quarterback you would rather have. That, that, that's the whole consensus right now. And I'm going to see how many people have watched the video all, over, all the way throughout by, you know, the comments that you make. Let me see what you guys are thinking. Because... I just I'm wondering if I should sell this 91 Vic and then get me an Aaron Rodgers and then just wait for another quarterback. But I'm saying to myself, what other quarterback? You know what I'm saying? Like, what other quarterback is going to be raw like Vic? Overall with everything and just be able to do whatever you want if a dude runs saggy and doesn't give an F about anything. Because he runs right by the spy. He, he like he just runs right by him. So, oh, oh you going for po oh you went for the post? All right, let me hold that real quick. Let me hold that. We're going back for six. We're going back for six on this one. Bro, the Gilmore Gills. Bro, Stewie Griffin. Okay, oh, oh, Drew, get, get sticky with it. All right, this dude is out of here. So let me know. Leave a comment, subscribe, share. Welcome to G Maya's world. See you guys and girls next time. One love.